Okay guys, uh, today let's talk about uh, noble integration and uh, we use the method of Gauss uh, quadrature and this is the formula for uh, this method so um, it's not really difficult all you need to do is uh, just take uh, the default function fx and uh, replace it by the point in uh, this table I mean uh, substitute it by the point in this table and multiply it uh, by weight and uh, sum the, the perform the summation of uh, those calculation so uh, we get we got the result of the integrate integration but uh, today I will talk about the double integration I have uh, the example here that we are going to uh, do in the MATLAB code but first I'm going to talk about the uh, coordinate transformation because uh, this formula is only uh, applied to the integration from minus 1 to 1 so uh, if the boundary is let's say from A to B then uh, you need to do all you need to do is uh, change uh, the coordinate and then uh, just do the integration so in order to do this uh, you just need to follow this formula uh, we have x equal to a plus b over 2 plus b minus a over 2 it's d and it's d is the new let's say it's a new uh, parameter uh, in the new function because uh, if uh, we replace it to the old function the original function f x and then we got this function but uh, we need to uh, multiply by b minus a over 2 d x uh, d x d so this will be the new function and then uh, we change the boundary from minus 1 to 1 so uh, after we change the coordinate and then we uh, can perform the integration but uh, in our case here we do the double integration so it's not really dif uh, different from the single integration here what we need to do we just um, perform one integration and then do the other integration one by one and then we got the result so uh, I'm going to write the MATLAB code now I will write the MATLAB function and I will call this uh, let's call this Gauss quadrature the input will uh, be our function here and boundary of uh, the axis y and boundary of the uh, axis x so uh, I will just call the function uh, f and then boundary of the y is uh, a to b and then c to d and we need one more parameter it's uh, the number of points that we going to use for our integration so I'm gonna I'm going to call this K now, uh, I'll just save this and the K okay uh, first we'll um, define our parameter okay x and y and we 
need to import the point the value of the point and value of the weight in this table here and to save time I already typed this I just copy and paste it so uh, this matrix here it mean that uh, if we want to use um, number of point let's say equal to 2 then we will use the value of the first column here and that's also applied to the weight so, and also the same when uh, k is equal to uh, 3 4 and 5 so we can perform this uh, from k from um, I mean k from 2 to 5 so we have four column now after we import this next we need to do the coordinate transformation okay so I just type this uh, coordinate okay now we need to uh, so we have two axis x and y so we, we need to do the transformation for both of them okay now I just call this HP okay so I will input the value uh, right here so it's equal to 0.5 b minus a Okay, so now we got our uh, formula here. This is for x, and p here is the the value of the point right here. So it means that uh, if k is equal, equal to two, and then uh, p will take the row from one to two and the column is 2 minus 1 so it will be the column number 1 right here and also the same for the y so I just copy and paste and then uh, call this yp but the boundary is not the same so I will change this from b to d and A to C now we got our uh, transformation next uh, I will uh, take the value of the weight so I just call this weight So the value will take from this matrix, so I just uh, use the matrix W here. So if we input the value of the K right here, it will take the value for a certain K from this uh, weight matrix right here. Now uh, we got our weight and so also we got our point 
right here so we just do the formula like this now I call this evaluation now we do the inside integration first so I'm just going to call this um, ex sub so this means that um, the ex is the value that we substitute the uh, the x by sorry this is hp by hp the value after we uh, trans we do the coordinate transformation and uh, we substitute them into the original function and then we got our value here so it means that we got this part right here now we, all we need to do is to multiply by weight but uh, don't forget this value right here because uh, we need to multiply this value as well now uh, this is our first integration uh, I mean the inside integration so I will call this uh, e uh, y uh, i1 and um, I think I should uh, change this to the row vector because uh, this one is the column vector so I just use uh, the new variable here Okay, so we got our uh, yeah, first integration, and then we do another integration. So it's actually almost uh, the same, but this time we we change from f to i one because this is our, uh, the result after our first integration. Now we substitute y by uh, yp and then we uh, perform the integration we multiply uh, a y by wd and then yud minus c over 2 so this is um, our final uh, value so I'm, I'm just going to uh, adjust the number a little bit just to make it easy to uh, look at the result sorry I typed this wrong okay so we got our function here and now I will try this first I'm going to define x and y and then I will function I call this uh, f and our function here but uh, the problem is uh, this example here y is inside but uh, our function we will uh, perform the x first so I'm going to change a little bit here uh, I just change from x to y okay so okay like this and then uh, I will call our function 
first we import the function and then the boundary of the inside integration it will be 2 to 4 and then 1 to 3 and the last parameter is k and in this case uh, I will use let's say a 4 so I will put in the number 4 here and then okay so this is our result now we compare to the example here and just look okay so guys uh, that's it for the double integration by using Gauss quadrature and I'll see you guys in the next video good luck